Shalom, Haverim. I am Rabbi M, filling in for Rabbi Galit tonight. I'm broadcasting from the Northeast, where we just had a beautiful storm. Windy and blowing. I thought I'd start much earlier than I usually am, so I wanted to be able to sing some songs and get my voice going and warm myself up with singing, which is my favorite way to warm up. I'm going to have to put on my glasses so I can see what I'm doing. I'm looking at Mishkan Tefillah, the Reform Prayer Book, to see what songs there are in the back. Because I sing the same songs a lot, I'd like to try and sing some new ones. Um, there's the Hanukkah songs, there's the regular song, songs of memory, ah, meditation and healing. Now, I'm not a great singer, but I love to sing, so um, songs and tunes. Anybody have any re recommendations? Let me know. Okay, here's one. Yedi Nefesh. My heart's delight, source of mercy, draw your servant into your arms. I leap like a deer to stand in awe before you. Yedi Nefesh Av Harachaman. Yedi Nefesh Av Harachaman. Mishkan Avdecha. Let's see. Yedid Nefesh Avdecha. Anyway, I think I'll skip that one and I'll try and start with another one that I know by heart. So we'll do. I lift my eyes to the mountains. From where does my help come? It comes from the creator of the heavens and the earth. Um, All in the spirit of warming up. I'm warming up my body as I warm up my soul. So there are some songs I love to sing to my grandchildren at night, and this is one of them, which I think is beautiful for all of us. It's by Shlomo Karlebach, I think. Um, B'Shem Hashem Elohei Yisrael. In the name of the name of our, the Jewish the God of Israel. On my right it sh is the angel Michael who is like you, who is like God, is what the word Michael means. On my left is the angel Raphael, no, Gabriel, which is God's strength. Before me is the angel Raphael, the healing presence of God. No, 
Oriel, I'm sorry, I haven't sung it in so long. I'm saying it instead of singing it. Oriel, the god of the um, light presence of God. Behind me is the angel Raphael, the healing presence of God. And above me is the Shekhinah, the feminine presence of God. And it's a wonderful prayer to sing when you go to sleep at night, sort of like keeping yourself safe. And this is how it goes, in case you don't know it. Bashem Hashem Elohei Israel, me yumini Michael, me smally Gavriel, me lifanai Uriel, me acharai Raphael, ve al Roshi, ve al Roshi, Shechinat El. That word El is the word meaning God. So whenever you hear like Michael, like L in there, is you have God's presence in the name. So we'll do it a few times because chanting is a way of nourishing your soul as well as your body. And it can be sort of like a healing mantra, which is the way I like to use it. Hashem, Hashem, Elohei Israel. Me yumini Michael, me smally Gavriel, me lifanai Uriel, me acharai Raphael, ve al roshi, ve al roshi, shechinat el, b'shem Hashem, Elohei Israel, me yumini. Me smally Gavriel, we live an I Uriel, we are Raphael, we all Roshi, we all Roshi, Shahi not El, Bashem, Hashem, Elohei Israel, me yumi. Smally Gavriel, me live Uriel, me acharai Raphael, ve al roshi, ve al roshi, shechinat el. One more time, b'shem Hashem, Elohei Israel. Me yumini Michael, me smally Gavriel, me lifanai Uriel, ve acharai Raphael, ve al roshi, ve al roshi, shechinat Die, 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 die,
I also feel like a foghorn when I'm singing that. But I think the long notes help him find sleep. I'll do it again. Ash, <coughs> excuse me. Ash, re, yosh, re, re, te, ha, o, je, I usually lead services on Tuesday night, so I'm filling in for Rabbi Galit this week. And on Tuesday night, we played around with the service. It's a great opportunity to reawaken yourself to prayer and get in touch with whatever essence it is that you call God. I like to think of it as eternity or the incredible majesty of the universe that it works. So there's another uh, chant that I have fallen in love with, and it's four words. It's Ahava, which means love, Rachamim, which means mercy, Chesed, which means loving kindness, and uh, Shalom, which means peace or completeness. We chant those four words, and we're going to use them in the service, so I wanted you to become familiar with the melody a little. In the service, you have the Shema that is bordered on both sides, first by, um, in the morning, let's hear, or Mariva Ravi in the evening, and God's love for us, Ahavat Olam. And on the other side of the Shema, you have our love for God in the, um, uh, what's that she left? Ve'ahavta. So instead of saying those two prayers on either side, we're going to say, we're going to do this chanting at your own pace and then say the Shema whenever you're ready to. And I'm hoping that this way it will help awaken you to another aspect of prayer. So this is the way that melody goes. Ah, <laughs> chant. We'll do it another time, another two times to make it familiar. Hold on to that. But let's sing another song. Let's sing because it's been snowing so hard, it's looked like the sea. So I want to sing the Hanasenish song, which I can't remember. The mind is a terrible thing to lose. Oh. It's 
gone from me. The Hannah Kramer song. I'm just thinking of that melody. Okay. If you know it, write down the words quick, quick, quick. Um, the sand and the sea, the rush of the water. is nice. Patience pays off. Welcome, Albert, and welcome everyone who is watching. I am Rabbi M. We are doing my weekday service. I'm filling in for Rabbi Galit, who is out of town. So if you would click on Rabbi M, you will see the Shadur, the service that we're going to be using tonight. And it's almost time to start, so let's open up to page Three, Hine Matov. Imanayim Shevet Kulanu, Yachad, sitting all of us together. Hine Matov, Imanayim Shevet Kulanu, Yachad. Hine Matov, Imanayim Shevet Kulanu, Yachad. Hine Matov, Shevet Kulanu, Yachad. He name to Shevet Kulanu Yachad. He name a to Humanaim Shevet Kulanu Yachad. He name a to Humanaim Shevet Kulanu Yachad. He name to Shevet Kulanu Yachad. He name Tov Shevet Kulanu Yachad. He name a Tohumanaim Shevet Kulanu Yachad. He name a Tohumanaim Shevet Kulanu Yachad. Erev Tov Sid Bowers. So another word about the service, and then we are going to turn to page seven for the Barhu. So as I commented earlier, on either side of the Shema, there's a prayer of God, how God loves us, Ahavat Olam. And on the other side of the Shema is the Ve'ahavta, which is how we are supposed to love God. So and in the middle is the Shema, how we have to pay attention, listen. And tonight we're going to change the service a little to wake you up to what prayer can be, maybe stretch a little bit in the prayer circle way by having the chant that we did earlier, which some of you are familiar with if you were with me on Tuesday. Chant that chant in the beginning and then chant it after and then chant it after the Shema. And I would like you to feel free to chant it at however long you would like to to put the Shema in wherever you feel it coming to you from your soul. And we will try and explore what prayer can be for you and for me. 
I love it when my heart can speak without me having to worry what's right and what I have to do. So this gives you an opportunity to explore. Um, we'll do the Barhu and then I'll start the chant. Barhu et Adonai HaMevorach Baruch Adonai HaMevorach Le'olam Ba'ed You don't need to turn any pages, hello Rabbi Root. And here is the chant. It's four words. Love, Ahava. Rachamim, mercy. Chesed, loving kindness. And Shalom, which is peace or completeness. So we're going to chant this. Then we're going to, you're going to chant it however fast or slow you want to chant it. Put the Shema in wherever you want to put it in. Then come back to the chant. And we'll all meet together on the other side. Here we go. Ah, va That's the chant. Do with it what you like. You can also go the point is to get your soul to speak.
Why those four words? Love, mercy, loving kindness, and peace. Those are all ways that we can relate to each other and bring healing to the world. If we pay attention, so paying attention, I'm going to read my little take on this week's Torah portion, which talks about paying attention, because as you probably know, in this week's Torah portion, we begin the book of Exodus, Shmot. We start out, these are the names of the children of Israel who came to Mitzrayim. Then Joseph dies and all his brothers, but the Israelites were fertile and increased so that the land was filled with them. That sounded threatening to Pharaoh. And a new king arose who didn't know the people. And he said, look, these are too many people for us. We have to kill all the firstborn, all the sons that are born to them. So Shifra and Pua, the midwives, they get there too late to kill the firstborn sons. And so all of the children live. Moses is born. He gets a script in the ark. He gets taken in by the Pharaoh's daughter. And that's just about the end of the second book of Exodus. So we're at the end of the book that we hear this. Meanwhile, right before this, there, Moses has grown up and he strikes the guard and he has to flee. So he's left Egypt and the people are crying out to God. They're groaning under the bondage and they cry out and they, God hears their moaning and God remembers his covenant with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. And God looked upon the Israelites and God knew. And that's the last word in the chapter. Vayadat Elohim, God knew. Very clear. I mean, all this long story and suddenly God knows. God remembers the people. So I keep thinking, where was God? Why wasn't God paying attention? God hears their cries and God remembers the covenant. To me, it's like one of those aha moments when with the snap of a finger, we get clarity. Ah, yes, that's what's going on. I forgot that I'm supposed to behave in such and such a way. I forgot that I'm supposed to take care of the children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And we can take action because now our path is clear. Immediately in the next chapter, Moses meets God at the burning bush and the story of our Exodus begins. I'm reminded by all those times I'm blinded to what is actually going on in my life until a momentary clearing of the fog in my, my brain allows clarity. I have that moment when I say to myself, what was I thinking? How could I have ever been that hurtful to my friend? Or how could I have bought that trip or gone away and gotten myself into such debt? Or how could I have not have the courage to try downhill skiing? Well, you can see I live a pretty protected life, but that's not the point. The point is what makes us open our eyes? What makes us pay attention? Do we have to hear people cry out in such misery that finally we can hear like the people in Puerto Rico now or the people who are in freezing houses because they have no electricity? I'm learning, though, instead of the question about worrying where God is, I'm better off worrying about where I am. I'm better off and I'd be stronger and a stronger participant in my world if I concerned myself with what I am doing, where I am going, how to get myself to pay attention to my own actions and to those in the world around me who need help. So I encourage you to find ways to make your voices heard to find out who needs help, to listen, to pay attention to the world that you're living in, and to do what you can to bring healing. With that, we go into our last section of the service, which is on page 26, I think. So we can start with the um, Yitzkadal, the Hatsi Kaddish on page 22. And I like to use the weekday melody I think if I can remember, it goes like this. 
Yitgedal veyitgedash me rabba ve'alma devrach yirutei ve'yam liflach yitei b'chayachonu v'yam achonu v'chayi d'chol b'Yisrael v'galal v'zman k'ari ve'amru amen yehesh me rabba me varach le'olam alo me'al maya yitbarach yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yitbar v'yitroman v'yitvasei v'yitadar v'yitalel v'yitalal shmei d'kudashah b'ruchu Le'olam in kol b'rachata v'shirata, t'ushbachata v'nechemata, t'amiran ve'alma ve'amru, amen. And the heart of the service is on pages 24 through 31. Page 24 is the kavanah, the intention with which we say these prayers. This is when we are supposedly closest to God. And if you just joined us, I am Rabbi M, spilling in for Rabbi Galit. Click on Rabbi M service and you will be able to join us wherever you like. We are on page 24, but if you want to take time to sing to yourself or get into the service any way you like, please join us when you're ready. So page 24. Adonai sifatai tiftach lufiya gitihilatecha. Adonai, open up my lips that my mouth may declare your glory. Page 25. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu ve'elohei avoteinu ve'imoteinu, Elohei Avraham, Elohei Yitzhak, Elohei Yaakov, Elohei Tzara, Elohei Rivka, Elohei Leah ve'elohei Rachel, Ha'el ha'gadol ha'gabur v'hanora, El Elyon, Gomel chasadim tovim ve'kone ha'kol. Ezacher chasei avot v'imahot, dinei v'igula l'fnei v'neihem, l'ma'an shemo v'ahava. Melech hozer u'moshiyo magen, baruch atah Adonai, magen Abraham v'evrat sara. Page 28. Yitzhak gabor le'olam Adonai, mechaye ha'kol atarav l'oshiyo, mashiv ha'ruach l'marit ha'gashem, mechakel chayim b'chesed, mechaye ha'kol b'rachamim rabim. Tomech nosim verofei cholim, umatir asurim, mekayem emunato l'shene afa, mechamoch ha'ba'al gibarod umidom elach, melech memidu mechaye umatzmiach yeshua, eman ata l'chayot ha'kol, baruch ata adonai, mechaye ha'kol. Page 31. Yitta kadosh v'shecha kadosh v'kodshim b'chol yom yalu chasela, baruch ata adonai, ha'el ha'kadosh. And we turn to page 35, 35, which is a song I learned when I was at church one day. It's a really great song, and you can sing it a lot of times and add as many verses as you like. It goes like this. Thank you for everything. Thank you for everything. Everything, everything. Thank you for everything. You've been so good to me. You've been so good to me. Good to me. Good to me. You've been so good to me. Thank you for keeping me warm. Thank you for keeping me warm. Keeping me warm. Keeping me warm. Thank you for keeping me warm. Thank you for everything. Thank you for everything. Everything, everything. Thank you for everything. We have the prayer for peace on page 37. Make peace and goodness, blessing and grace and kindness and mercy for us and for all who struggle to find you. Bless us, all of us as one. The light out of Eloheinu will guide us through wilderness. You gave us a Torah of life and a love of kindness and justice, blessing and mercy and life and peace. And may it be good in your eyes to bless your people Israel and all people at all times and in all seasons with your peace. Blessed are you, Adonai, who blesses us with peace. And on page 38 is the healing prayer. If there is someone for whom you are, someone you are thinking of, yes, it's someone you are thinking of and you would like me to say the name aloud, please write the name down in the chat box. I will be glad to do so to the best of my ability. If there is someone you know in need of healing of the body or of the soul, and it can be for yourself as well. We're thinking of those people now 
as we prepare for the healing prayer. So let me share a batch. The family, George Fishman and his family, Rebecca, Joy, Pat Nolan, his family, Adele and Mike Marijuana, Ellie Pereira, Sue Bowers is thinking of Robert and Dot, Midnight and Teddy Bear. If there's someone you think of as I'm singing this prayer, please drop their name down. I'll be glad to say it. Page 38, Rabbi M's service. Me shabera avotenu Avraham Yitzchak ve'yaakov Sara Rivka Rachel Valea u'yivarech v'yirape et hacholim Me shabera Avotenu Avraham Yitzchak Ve'yaakov Sara Rivka Rachel Valea U'yivarech Ve'yirape Et hacholim El na'rifan Allah El na'rifan Allah Avotenu Avraham Yitzchak Ve'yaakov Sara Rivka Rachel Valea U'yivarech Ve'yirape Et May the one who blessed our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bless and heal those who are ill. God, please heal them. Turn to page 40 and 44. Our responsibility in this world as we prepare to end our service is upon us, Aleinu, to heal the world. Aleinu l'shabeach l'adon hakol l'atet g'dulal yotzeh b'reshi shelu shehu I'm starting again, sorry. I'm still caught up in the Mishaberach prayer. Aleinu l'shabeach l'adon hakol l'atet g'dulal yotzer b'reshi shel lo asanu k'deye ha'ratzot v'lo samanu k'mishpachot ha'adama shel lo sam chelkenu kahem v'gohor aleinu k'chol ha'mona v'anachnu korim u'mishtachavim u'modim v'fnei melech malkei ha'mlechim HaKadosh Baruch Hu, page 44, V'ne'emar v'haya Adonai l'melech al kol ha'aretz b'yom ha'hu, b'yom ha'hu, yei Adonai echad, u'shemaho, u'shemaho, u'shemaho echad. Pages 45, 46, and 47 are the mourner's cottage, the prayer that we say extolling God's presence in the universe. If there is someone you are saying Kaddish for, for whom you are observing Shloshim, the 30 days of mourning, or whose yard site is this week, or if you're in the first year of mourning, the first 11 months, 
and you would like me to say the name aloud, please write it in the chat box. I would be glad to do so. Or you can say it in the privacy of your own heart. And as we're thinking of those people, I would like to read this poem. This is a poem by Jane Kenyon. What came to me? I took the last dusty piece of china out of the barrel. It was your gravy boat with a hard brown drop of gravy still on the porcelain lip. I grieved for you then as I never had before. We think of those who lie in unmarked graves and have none but us to say college for them. We think of the martyrs of our people. We think those of those who have died in the year past, who we admired. We take them into our hearts as we say the Mourner's Kaddish on pages 45, 46, and 47. It's Kedal the Kedash Meiraba. I'm just going to end with the song that we used around the Shema, the chant, to send us on our way. May we all have love. May we all have mercy. May we all have loving kindness. May we all have peace. And may we all bring that into the world with us. wonderful week. I will be here usually on Tuesdays is my night and Rabbi Galit will be back next Thursday. Tomorrow is Rabbi Steve who is in Florida and I hope you are all keeping safe and warm. Shavua Tov, have a good week and Shabbat Shalom because it's coming up tomorrow and Erev Tov, have a good night.